It's time to grind some expeditions. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and today I'm back in Rise of Civilization and the expedition grind is on. I want more rewards and I want to get higher in these expeditions like we spoke about in a previous video. Before I get into any of that though guys, I want to remind all of you to subscribe to the channel and turn notifications for daily Rise of Civilizations content if you're enjoying your stay here on the channel right now. And also before we get into any of that, we need to do a little bit here in the main village, collect some resources and do some stuff. Remember all of my videos for Rise of Civilizations are sponsored by Rise of Civilizations. Let's collect some of these resources really quickly right here guys. Let's see what we have in the shop, nothing, I've already visited that, we're going to help out our friends. And um, really, actually, we could do a little farming. So what I'm going to do right here is uh, is look for some good areas to get some loot because I could definitely use some. And we got some right here. We're going to get some stone. We're going to send out this troop combination for the stone. Where else can we go? I'm trying to farm within my own area because when we had that episode with Spooby HD and I, we were talking about the boost and the ability to farm faster when you're within your own territory. 25% faster, that is. Oh, here's some corn. Level 6. You got to go for a cropland when it's level 6, when it's available because, you know, that could be a pretty profitable thing. So here we go. We got some wood right here. That's exactly exactly the other one that I was talking about. There we go. We got some stone and we got some wood. We're ready to roll. So we're going to hop on over to these expeditions and take a look where we are. As you guys can see, I'm sitting at level 30 right now. What we're going to do is just have some fun, grind through a few more of them and hope that when the daily rewards come, I start getting more. Let's see exactly how this goes down. We're going to do the challenge. The mission target is to defeat the target lose less than 50% of the units, and all commanders survive. I mean, this should be easy, right? It's a suicide mission now, but we're going to add Zhao Zhao in here as my support to Minamoto. We're going to come in with uh, Jonah. That looks good. We'll go with that. We're going to come in here with Boudica by herself, and here... No, we don't want Constance. We want someone that's a little tougher than her. Oof. What can we do? I guess we can go in with him just so that we get an extra one. This should be a piece of cake. I got four commanders ready to go right there. And uh, we're ready to get into this, guys. It should be a piece of cake. I'm ready. Let's start. Let's do this. Now, where is the enemy? There he is right there. Let's go and attack. March. We're going to go and attack again with another set of troops. We want to go here. We're going to get Boudica going in. March. We're going to go here again. We're going to attack again. We're going to get Joan of Arc going in. We're going to march. And finally, we have the last guy going in there. We're going to march. Who's this right here? That's my Minamoto. That's the one I really need in there. We got to get Minamoto in there as well. All right. Let's zoom in on the action right now and see what's actually going going down the uh the screen is moving itself around tough to see right here guys i can't zoom any more in than that and it looks like we're getting the upper hand right here as we get those damages done to the opponent the commander is using his ability as well but we have the upper hand we just have the numbers on top of him right now waiting for, oh wait i have some people just sitting around watching we don't want them just to watch we need to send them in there get in there on that march and uh we're gonna send the last one in there too i don't know what's going on now we should be good to go. They were just kind of hiding in the bushes. Don't be scared. Get up in there, get into the battle, and let's take down this commander, gain the rewards, and gain one more level on this um, in this event. But I don't think there was a time limit on this one, guys. Let's see. In three, two, one. Can I get him taken down? No, it's not done. It wasn't done in 60 seconds. Let's see. It's only... Oh, we got the three-star. There we go. But we got to do some more, guys. That's not enough for this video. We need to do some more right now. But look at these rewards right here, guys. We got some good rewards, especially this legendary commander sculpture. I'll take those every single day. Thank you for the victory. We're going to pick up all of that, and we're going to move on to the 31st level of expeditions let's jump into this challenge okay lots of lancelots so taking on lots of lancelots eliminate all enemies complete the mission in 70 seconds and all commanders survive this could be tough if there's five different lancelots around the uh the battlefield it could be tough and they are as you could see i could actually see beyond this this uh mission target right here and there are five lined up but we're gonna go into it right now we're just gonna go and attack right away so here attack March here, attack, march here, attack, march, and then we're gonna go here, attack, and the last one is gonna be oh my god, they didn't go, they didn't go. No, it happened again. March, there we go. Now everyone should be getting in there. 70 seconds though. My march speeds are they gonna be fast enough? That's gonna be the question. Will we be able to get this done? I'm honestly not sure. We got 
We got Boudica holding it down over here on the right, but Lohar, he's not the strongest of all. Hopefully, I can get some of these commanders to be able to switch on over, give some assistance to the, the other commanders, and uh, and kind of take home the win. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to attack with Boudica. Let's get her in there, and then we're going to come over here and attack with Joan of Arc. There we go. We're almost done right here. We could take down that Lancelot. We got it done. I was concerned. You know, me moving these things around and choosing who goes where and all that, it gets confusing, especially when you're in a time crunch. And the best victory was the advanced commander sculpture on that one. Not the craziest rewards for that, but satisfactory. We're here on number 32. We're jumping into 32 right now. More Lancelots. It should be a piece of cake. They seem to be lined up differently in this one. Let's see how I could do. We're going to come in here and attack. We're going to march there. We're going to go here. And we're going to march here. And we're going to come here. And we're going to march with Joan of Arc. And then we're going to send right in the middle. We're going to march in with Minamoto and Sao Zao, which is my uh, top key attack squad right there guys so they're all going in they should honestly crush these guys even quicker as soon as someone is done i'm gonna go in and attack these guys over here i'm ready with my march as soon as someone gets those blue feet or those blue binoculars we're gonna go in and attack to take out these others so there's Boudica. we got this one right here we're gonna attack right there with joan of arc and we're ready to go again we're gonna have minamoto no no we got minamoto coming in and then there's one more we're attacking with uh, what's his name again? I completely forget. Lohar, that's his name. Lohar, right. So yeah, that battle's happening. This one should... That was easier than the last one, guys. Don't line up like that for me, Lancelot, because I'm gonna take you down every single time. And right here, best victory, an elite commander sculpture. Guys, so far, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you throw a thumbs up, show some love to your boy Echo, and overall to Rise of Civilizations. We're gonna collect those rewards and go into one more battle right here on number 33, which is gonna give me, if I can get a three-star on this one, that's gonna be four more rewards every single day, because you know as the day closes out, the rewards are collected and uh, for all of the three stars that you've obtained over time. We're going into number 33, and what do we have here? Oh boy, okay. We gotta take on Julius Caesar right here. And it looks like he has uh, CPO behind him. Complete the mission in 70 seconds, less, lose less than 30% of my units. And uh, this could be difficult, but we're gonna try it out. We're going in, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Let's go. Here we go, we're attacking. Got it. So it's four on four. We got to get this done. We can get this done. We will get this done. They're in. The battle has begun. We got to take down these Julius Caesars. We got to lose less than 30% of our troops, and we have to do it quickly. Caesar's got his ability being used right there. Pretty clutch. Um, looks like they are all in the battle, which is good. And oof, I don't even know. We have one going down right here. I'm going to come in here and hit the attack button if we need to get someone else in there. But it looks like... It looks like they're all going to go down pretty quickly right here, guys. Looks like we're going to have the victory without me even having to tr move troops anywhere. We should have this. There we do. And it's a three-star yet again. Wow. Pretty easy, to be honest with you guys. It wasn't that difficult whatsoever. An epic commander sculpture we're picking up right there, as well as all the other rewards. We've gained four expedition positions, which is going to be four more pieces of loot or bundles of loot or whatever kind of loot it is every single day, which to me, that's a good thing. So we're back over here. What I want to do is go over to the items and see what I picked up. 200 chests, which is just basically loot, level one resource packs. We'll take those. Anything in other? No, nothing going on in other, guys, except for me collecting my keys. If you didn't know, I'm looking to put together another nice, big opening video for you guys because they're always a ton of fun. Who doesn't like watching chests be open? It's pretty darn exciting every single time. But that's been it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you're getting your expedition grind on as well. I want you to remember that this video was sponsored by G Fuel Energy Formula. Save 10% on all G Fuel products using code ECHO. In addition, throw a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. And remember, guys, you could always come over to Twitter and find me there pushing 7,000 followers. Join the wagon, guys. It's a great time over there on Twitter at Echo3. But I'll see all of you back here again tomorrow. Until then, be good.